You guys, it feels like Christmas morning. I'm so freaking excited to test out this new product in today's video. I have no eyeliner on, no mascara, no lashes, because we are gonna be doing all that with this product. This is the Eyelore London Pro Magnetic Magnetic Eyeliner and Lash System. So being someone who has super sensitive eyes, I can't wear false lashes for a full day. My eyes just get totally irritated and burny. I think it's kind of like a combo of the lash glue, but also just having something like heavy on my eyes. So if you also have super sensitive eyes, then something like magnetic lashes could potentially be a game changer. We'll see if these actually work. That's what today's video is, you know? There are magnetic lashes out on the market right now. I actually have a video testing one of them, so I'll link it in the eye and down below. These are actually quite different. We're gonna get into it, but the main difference between the magnetic lashes that are previously already out on the market and these are that in the past, magnetic lashes typically magnetize to each other. So you actually have little tiny magnets on the strip lash and they basically sandwich between your natural lashes. So you have a magnetic strip of lashes on the top and then one on the bottom and the magnets actually stick to each other. The thing I really didn't like about those are one, they're super hard to apply. They actually are more difficult to apply than normal lashes for me at least. I mean, it's like ridiculous how you have to line it up. And then they're heavy because of the magnets on there. For me personally, those were super uncomfortable. I would never wear those like on a daily basis or even wear them again. So when I saw these pop up on Ulta, I was so curious. I haven't seen any videos on these yet. I am pre-filming this video, so by the time it goes up, there probably will be. But the different and interesting thing with this product is that you actually have a magnetic eyeliner. So instead of having two separate lashes that stick together and sandwich your natural lashes, you actually only have one strip lash like normal that is magnetic to the eyeliner that you put down first, which I think is so freaking cool. If this works, this is honestly gonna be life-changing because you're supposed to just be able to pop these on and they stick to the eyeliner, which sounds like literal magic. I'm so excited. My heart rate is going like 5 million beats per minute right now. So on Ulta, these retail for $16.99. It says you can get 15 uses out of these. And then they also sell the eyeliner on its own for $9.99 if you run out or whatever. They have a few different styles. I went with the faux mink wispy style. They had one that was like a little bit more dramatic and then they also have corner lashes. So let's get into it and test these bad boys out. I cannot wait any longer. If you're excited for this video and you enjoy while you're watching, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. PSA, new social media. I'll pop it in somewhere over here on the screen right here. Here's my new handles, but let's get into it. Okay, so I only have eyeshadow on my eyes right now because we are gonna be applying an eyeliner and lashes. I am gonna do a thin coat of mascara after the eyeliner just to coat my natural lashes, but I didn't wanna do that first since we are gonna go in with a liquid liner. So there must be some kind of small magnets on the strip lashes so they stick to the magnetic eyeliner. Allure has a little video tutorial on their site that's super brief and I did watch it, so I'm just gonna follow what they say to do in that video. They also give you a little instruction paper here. It just says, ensure the liner follows the upper eye line so that the lashes can hug the curve of your eye. So basically it's gonna stick to wherever you put this. So, you know, if you draw it straight out, it's not gonna stick to the curve of your eye. So just make sure you're applying the eyeliner right where you want the lashes. It says to shake the eyeliner before use. And it says to apply three layers of this eyeliner. So that is a little bit time consuming. It's time consuming putting on normal lash glue anyway, so that doesn't really bother me. But it does say to wait for each layer to dry in between applications. All right, so let's zoom in. So the eyeliner has been shook. Let's apply liner number one. It looks like you get a little brush tip here, which can be kind of hard to control if you're trying to do a wing or something. What you could do though, I would guess, is apply this where you want the lashes to stick. So just create kind of like a straight line with the magnetic eyeliner. And then if you wanted to use a different eyeliner to just get the wing, then that's probably a good idea because I can never get a good wing with this kind of applicator. I just, I can't. Oh, I'm nervous. Okay, here we go. That layer is down. I'm gonna let that dry. It does look really nice and black, so I'm gonna let those dry. It does feel pretty wet. Yeah, it does feel dry, so I'm gonna go in for layer number two, and I'm gonna try and like perfect the shape a little bit more this time. I don't think I'm gonna wing it because I know it's just gonna be a disaster if I try and wing it with this brush, so I don't actually mind the look of not winged eyeliner if I'm putting on false lashes, because it usually covers up the edge right here anyway. So I did bring it in a little bit more just to be sure that I have something right there so that it can stick to the inner part of my eye. How did that happen? It does seem to come off pretty easy with a makeup wipe though, just rubbed right off. Oh, why am I not using this? Let's use a little fan, speed things up. I do you like that it dries pretty quick in between layers so it's not like I'm sitting here for 5,000 hours waiting for eyeliners to dry in between. It's going pretty quickly. Right now I'm probably spending about the same amount of time as I would waiting for lash glue to dry. So this is the final layer. 
Yeah, I don't love the applicator on here. I wish they made it a little bit tinier just so it's easier to get a more precise line. Also, when you're going in so many times, it's kind of hard to not go overboard with eyeliner. This eye is still a little bit wet, but while that's drying down, I'm just gonna go in with a super thin coat of normal mascara because I need to coat my natural lashes so they're not sticking out. I'm not trying to get any kind of volume or anything. I'm literally just coating them so they're black. So you can see on here where the magnets are. You can kind of see those little like rectangular shapes right there on the end. Those are definitely the magnets. And it doesn't say anything about trimming down the lashes. So hopefully these aren't too long. I usually have to trim down lashes because they have the magnets on either end right at the end. So you probably couldn't cut those off or else there'd be nothing to stick to the eyeliner. If that's the case, they probably should make small, medium, large sizes so that is gonna fit everyone's eye because if you have a smaller eye shape than I do, I mean, I don't even know if these are gonna fit. They look a little bit longer than what I usually use. And if you have an even smaller eye shape, then these would be way too long. And if you trimmed it, you would just be cutting off an entire magnetic strip. We're gonna see if this sticks. I'm so curious. My eyeliner does feel totally dried down, so I think we're good to go. And they literally just show the model popping it on and it sticks. All right, are we ready? That took me 10 times to say, I'm so excited. My heart's beating fast. Who needs to work out when you can apply magnetic false lashes? Here we go. Let's hope and pray this works. Is it on? Can't tell. Wait. So it seems to be sticking on the outer part of my eye, but it's still totally off right here. So let me try and pop that down right on the eyeliner. I did put eyeliner right there. Oh, I can see it not sticking right there. It's actually not sticking at all. Looks like it is at a certain angle. Okay, there it looks like it's down. Now let's try the inner part. So I do have eyeliner right there. It just doesn't wanna to seem to fully stick on the inner part of my eye. And as you can see, if you just tap it, it like moves it and it pops up. Yeah, it doesn't wanna stick on the inner part of my eye right there. I do have the liner. If I make any more of a thick liner right there, it's gonna be kind of overkill. It's like it'll stay for two seconds and then pop up right there. I mean, you can literally like touch it. If there was wind blowing by or something, your lashes would literally just fly off onto the person next to you. It's weird though, you can feel like something sticking. It's just not strong enough. Let's try the other eye. Maybe I did better magnetizing on the other eye. This feels like a science experiment. There are only four magnets on there. There you can see them really well, those little four rectangles. So there's nothing sticking it in between there. I'm guessing because they didn't want to make it too heavy. If you have too many magnets, they'll probably just weigh them down. Okay, let's try this eye. Is that one on? So it's not sticking on the end there, but let me try and get it better on the eyeliner. Looks like there we're on the inside. Got the inside down. Let me hopefully stick this without the inside popping up. Okay, did I do it? I think, uh, no, see the outside still isn't on. Let me try bringing it up a little bit so it's on the eyeliner. Okay, that is uh, temporarily on. Like it seems to be in the right spot. I like the style of the lashes. They do look nice and wispy. I just feel like if I like moved or if an ounce of breeze went by, they would fly off and it's already popping up, like just with me blinking. Yeah, it's totally off. Okay, not going as, as well as I hoped for. Just out of curiosity, since these aren't working as is, I'm gonna trim down and make them almost like corner lashes, which they do sell. So basically I'm gonna cut between the first and second magnet here just to make it so I don't have that inner part that might be popping up the outer part. So I just trimmed off one of the magnets. So there are three magnets now. I'm gonna try and pop it on just as kind of corner lashes and see if that's any better. They just don't wanna stick very well. It definitely looks like they're on for like a split second. Like the outside there looks on, but then they just like pop up. So I don't think it's the shape because these three don't even wanna stick. Hmm. Okay, well. <laughs> Guess I'm going without false lashes today. Just another day, you know? Folks, these are a pass. Unfortunately, I just don't think something is strong enough, whether it's the magnet on the lash or the eyeliner, like something definitely needs to happen here because there's just not enough to adhere them to your eyes. I didn't read any of the Ulta reviews. These are pretty new, so there's not a whole lot, but now I'm curious what people are saying about them. Let me see. Okay, they're getting pretty low ratings. It looks like two, two stars, two and a half stars. Looks like they're not really staying on for people. Someone said it stayed on for 10 minutes and it fell off. Regular false lash glue is easier to use than this. I would agree. That tends to be kind of the theme with these kind of alternative eyeliner products is that 
Regular lash glue just works better. Like I said, you know, not everyone can wear regular lash glue or lashes or just uncomfortable. So I'm gonna pop on some of my normal eyeliner here. So unfortunately, these are a definite no. They just don't work. Let me know if you've tried these and if you have any tips to make them work or what you think of them. If you've worn them, if they've stayed on your eyes, let me know down below. Solution to the lash glue problem has not been solved yet, but if you also have sensitive eyes and you need a good lash glue, this is the one that I found that's best for my eyes. It's the Kiss Drip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. It's formaldehyde free and latex free and it's clear, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. I always have my earrings, rings, everything linked down below, shirt in the description box, makeup, everything. By the way, the makeup on my face today is like a total mishmash weird combo. I did like a bunch of weird shit. I have on the Benefit foundation I reviewed, put a little bit of the Synchro Skin over top. Lips, I used Conspiracy Urban Decay Liner with L'Oreal 418 and Power. Topped it off with some of the Wet n Wild, this orangey kind of gloss in the shade Clyde. Blush, bronzer, like everything is a weird combo today, so I'm not even gonna mention it because I used like three different products. I was just like testing out a bunch of stuff, so it's a weird, weird combo happening today. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye.